up in the house okay virgos here we go i had to reshuffle these cards and i wanted to tell y'all thank you and i wanted to say to the angels dear angels please bless and protect this space i ask that you ensure only pure and trustworthy answers for the from the divine come through these cards i ask that the message i receive be clear and easy to understand please help me hear and feel and know the message you have for us i ask that this card render reading brings blessings to everyone involved, and so it is. Amen. Thank you, Lord, blessing me on this. Let's get it crack a lack. Okay, first of all, Virgos, how are y'all in the world today? And by the line, don't forget to push that down because I'm trying to give you a horoscope. Here we go. Here we go. It's LA. It's LA. Horoscope lady, too. Okay. You had the Ace of Wands. We'll get these cards in a minute. The Ace of Wands, it says, creation, uh, creative beginning invention, start of an understanding fortune, enterprise and gain, inheritance, birth of a child, beginning of the meaningful experience and adventure. In other words, it could be a birth of a child, uh, a venture you're going on. There's some stuff you're finna get into because your mind wants to go and do things. It could be a new baby on the horizon. You can get a new enterprise, a fortress. You can inherit it, money. It's all kinds of things coming with this. Okay. And under belief of it, it had the solar plexus chakra. So what this means is, okay. Virgos, I'm going to tell you this. This means I can. That's the key word to this card. That means you can do what you put your mind to it. You know how it works. You got to crack a load and you got to crack a down. You just like a crack a down in the bite. You can do it. But remember, this represents your glands, your pancreas, and the, your pancreas and the renal gland. I don't say things too particularly, but your painters, be aware you need to get up, take care of yourself because this is important. Take care of yourself, go to the doctor, check out your pancreas and uh, your other gland too. Be careful. Okay, the pace of wands, the page of wands symbolize a person adept at a pursuing the unknown vengeance, a act of youth and light figure alert and awake to unknown dangers in other words this symbols you uh you adapt <laughs> excuse me y'all <laughs> excuse me y'all y'all you adapt to different things adventures and your ability to figure out things and help the youth and you have abilities to stand strong Okay, and keep that up. Now this, wisdom. You have the wisdom. You've been looking up books. You've been reading things. Are starting. To, you, you're trying to find information about religion, about different things. You're starting to get involved. You want, you're looking at your family life over here, what you would like it to be. You want to bring wisdom to the house. You just basically, even your dog is trying to listen to you. You see the dog in the picture? It's on... Um, Virgos, go with your bad self. Now, signs, it says, what you should know to be known, what is believed about. Use the quickest way in. In other words, you need to learn stuff and you need to learn the quickest way you can. In other words, you can do what you put your mind to. You just got to focus a little bit more, Virgos. You gotta go for the gusto, cause you got it in you. You just you just roll around with that. You just you, you got it in you. The next one, eight of swords. Okay, conflict, domination, imprisonment, turmoil, bad news, censure, criticism, sickness, misfortunes, and it can end and opportunity are seized. In other words, bad things gonna can happen around you in your in your life. So be careful. It's there's some domination and imprisonment, terminal, bad news, center criticism, sickness, 
misfortune and end up opportunities are seized. Please be careful out there, Virgos. Don't do you. Like they say, don't do me. Don't do you. Don't do yourself. Okay. And then it says, fulfillment of wishes. In other words, whatever you wish for, or whatever you want, Vir Virgo, is coming to wishing. And this is between now and the end of the month. So, and take it in accord, y'all, that this don't go for everybody. This, this is just an overall view of what I'm seeing. They don't go for everybody. Okay. Then it says, for humanity's sakes, your hopes and wishes, do it for your fortune. In other words, do what you plan to do, what you want it to do. Stop setting yourself short, Virgos, because you can do it. You can master whatever you want to master. You just have to put your mind to it and go for it. And the Ace of Swords, great determination, intermittent strength, force of activity, triumph, power, success, deep emotional feelings and love championship for conquest. You can conquer whatever you put your mind to. Just like I said, keep on. You can conquer it. Virgo's got it in them. Material, spiritual, prosperity. Like I said, spiritual. You're looking for you're trying to get a closer connected with God and you're trying to find him and he's right there. He's he's coming and you're trying to find a direction and you, you're, you're trying to get yourself uh, together. So spiritual and all material and prosperity. You got to to get the horizon you got to work at. It's nothing that's gonna come to you just like that. Okay. Now look for signs. In other words, you need to look for signs in your life. Uh between now and there's, there's gonna be good things coming to you. You just have to look for it. It's coming and you gotta see past your thoughts and your dreams, what you want. Look for it and go for it, okay? And the next one, no need to worry. No need to worry about materials. No need to worry about getting for the angels. Say, you can, you're gonna get there. Just takes time with everything. So just believe you're gonna get there and stop believing negativity. You'll be all right. That's what the angels basically don't worry about nothing. Then ask for help from others. In other words, there's other people in your house, in your life that can help you, but you do not ask. Virgo's got too much pride here. And the angel says, sometimes you need help. So just ask, okay? And then they says, recovery. Okay, you need recovery and uh, meditation for bad things that, are, that, that happen in your life, relationships and all. You need to recover from what you, what you in your past thing, you, you're trying to recover from the heartbreaks, you're trying to recover from just overall mental and your health and everything. You're trying to get everything together, and that's that's good. If you believe, if you believe you can do it, you can conquer them. This is a star in the middle of this globe. That means you can do whatever you set your mind to, Virgos. Now, the question, will there be romance in the time sooner? The angel says no. Between now and the 31st, no. And it says, not the right time for romance anyway in your life. That's what it says. So, Virgo sums it up. Get it together. Start thinking of and dream big. Do what you got to do to make it. It's like this. Dream big. Uh, the angel's telling you this. It's going to come in due time and due timing. Remember that. Believe and it will be. You will see it. But you got to believe. But anyway. Virgos, I'm going to cut this short. And just remember, just don't rely, go with everybody, y'all. But don't kill the messenger. And I want to tell y'all, subscribe for my channel. And y'all have a nice day. And God bless everyone. Peace. Nothing but love for you. It's a love.